It seems our passion for crisps here in Britain is as strong as ever. Did you know that in the UK we consume around 6 billion packets of crisps every year? Only France and the USA consume more. In research conducted by snack giant Walkers, 98% of UK adults identify themselves as crisp eaters, with a third of those people eating a bag every day. Our love affair with crisps still burns brightly, so I thought it was about time for a video dedicated to the humble crisp. In particular, those favourites of yesteryear that are sadly no longer available. Get ready for a nostalgic jaunt back to the tuck shops and newsagents of the past as we remember lost crisps and snacks of days gone by. Probably not one that we actually need back, but hedgehog flavour crisps were a national sensation for a short time at the beginning of the 1980s. They were created as a joke by Philip Lewis, a pub landlord from Welshpool in Wales. Little did he know at the time that his quirky creation would become one of the most discussed and indeed controversial snacks in the UK. Of course, no hedgehogs were ever harmed in the making of these crisps, the flavourings were all synthetic. The back of each packet read, Savour all the flavour of traditional fare cooked the old-fashioned way, without harming a single spike of a real hedgehog. Collectible tokens on each packet could also be saved up and sent off to raise money for the British Hedgehog Preservation Society. The controversy surrounding the crisps mainly centred on the term hedgehog flavoured. This contravened the Trades Description Act and was claimed to be false advertising as the crisps contained no actual hedgehogs. To satisfy the Office of Fair Trading, the name was simply changed to Hedgehog Flavour, only in Britain. If you were a child of the 70s, then there is a fair chance you were a fan of all things horror, especially true if you were a boy. Although horror films and television shows were, of course, meant for an adult audience, during the 1970s there was a plethora of merchandise aimed squarely at the children's market. Comics and annuals such as Shiver and Shake, games such as Haunted House and Horror Top Trumps, and, from 1974, crisps called Horror Bags. Great news, horror bag lovers! <laughs> My latest spine-chilling invention! <laughs> I'm calling them bats after my fiendish friends here. Say hello, fellas. It's the fattiest snack you'll ever see with a frighteningly flighty flavor. <laughs> and they said I'd never get it off the ground. New bats in horror bags. Snacks that go crunch in the night. Manufactured by snack legend Smith's. Initially, there were just two varieties of horror bags available, cheese and onion fangs and salt and vinegar bones. Novelty-shaped crisps and snacks invariably enjoyed great success, and it was no different with horror bags. Soon there were two more additions to the range, bacon claws and vinegar ribs. In 1978, bats were added to the lineup in a supposed bat burger flavour. Smith's promoted horror bags heavily and often featured collectible tokens on the packets, which could be saved up and swapped for exclusive merchandise such as a Dracula mask. When Smith's launched the similarly themed Monster Munch in 1977 to huge success, the writing was on the wall for horror bags and they slowly returned to the crypt, never to be seen again. Another novelty crisp brand along similar lines to horror bags, Jaws corn snacks were shaped like a set of shark's teeth. Made by Sooner Foods and advertised as the snack that bites back, Jaws came in two flavours, spicy tomato and barbecue beef. Sticking with novelty corn-based snacks for a moment, who remembers Football Crazy? First available in the 1970s, the corn and potato snack Football Crazy came in just one flavour, smoky bacon. 
As with their Horror Bags brand, Smiths made available a lot of exclusive merchandise for hungry kids who happily save their empty crisp packets in order to send off for goodies such as team stickers or the FA Rules OK Laws of Football book. Send off enough packets and you could even become a member of the Football Crazy Club. I could probably make an entire video dedicated to classic crisps and snacks made by Smiths. Britain's very first crisp manufacturer started life in 1920 in a garage in Cricklewood, when Frank Smith began making crisps which he would sell in the Cricklewood Crown, a pub located next door. By 1934 Smiths was producing 90% of the crisps in the UK. The very first salted crisp was produced by Smiths, with the simple idea of including a blue sachet of salt in a bag of plain crisps proving to be a sensation. Over the decades, Smiths have produced a huge variety of crisps and snacks. We've already reminisced about horror bags and football crazy, but there are many other Smiths products that have sadly gone to that big tuck shop in the sky. For example, do you remember Farmer Brown's? Farmer Brown, you've got the munchy snack there. Ooh, ah. Light and crispy, savory flavors too. <laughs> The new snack from Smith's with bags of Moon A, Wolf Bar and Cockadoodle Doo. Farmer Browns were light cereal snacks, possibly corn, in the shape of farm animals. And at just eight pence for bags of Moon A, Wolf Bar and Cockadoodle Doo, you really couldn't go wrong. For a time in the 80s, Smith's also produced Zodiacs, which I must admit I can't recall too much about. I do, however, remember enjoying Smith's Crispy Tubes. These were very similar in texture to Smith's own Squares range. In fact, tubes were almost like squares that had simply been rolled up. In 1993, Smith's was acquired by Walkers, which was itself by this time owned by PepsiCo. Smith's brands were either rebranded as Walkers or, as was the case with Crispy Tubes, phased out altogether. Throughout the 1950s, one of Smith's main snack rivals in the UK was Tudor. Originally established in the northeast of England in 1947, Tudor was taken over by Smith's in 1961, and the popularity of the brand hit its peak in the 1970s, mainly thanks to a series of memorable TV ads. Can I take a few bags of Tudor at your wages? Nothing but the best for you, right lad? Aye, great flavours, Tudor. Hey Jack, look at these now, they're a canny bag of crisps. Aye yeah, man, the Tudor of Kiney Mountain. Tudor, a crisp that's really worth its salt. Pretty that lift out of order. <laughs> The Tudor brand became known for its rather quirky flavour offerings, including chocolate, gammon and pineapple, hot dog and ketchup, mint sauce, and even kipper. Another iconic British snack manufacturer founded in 1947 was Golden Wonder. Still very much in existence today, under the ownership of Tato, Golden Wonder overtook Smith's as Britain's most popular crisp brand in the 60s. Golden Wonder products which have been lost in the mists of time include 1970s favourites Rock and Rollers, a wheat and potato based snack, and from the same decade, Kung Fui, available in flavours such as cheese and ham and the unusual bacon and mushroom. 1947 was certainly a banner year for startup crisp manufacturers. Also founded in this year in Scunthorpe was Riley's Crisps. In a similar vein to Tudor, Riley's produced some unusual flavours over the years, including new potatoes with mint, grouse and scampi and lemon. In 1981, Riley's became Sooner Foods and was eventually taken over by Golden Wonder. Our next entry is a bit of an enigma. 
remembered fondly by those who tasted them and a complete mystery to others who just do not recall them at all, chipmunk crisps are perhaps the ultimate forgotten treasure of the retro crisp world. Although available in classic flavours such as cheese and onion, chipmunk are probably best remembered for their OXO edition. Chipmunk was eventually taken over by, you guessed it, Golden Wonder. Bags of crackle and crunch. That's what the tagline for Burton's Piglets promised and for the most part they delivered on that promise. As the name would suggest, piglets were shaped like miniature pigs and were fantastically crunchy due to the deep fry process used in manufacture which caused these snacks to puff up, similar to another Burton's favourite, potato puffs. Potato puffs were one of the most popular tuck shop purchases during their heyday of the 60s, 70s and 80s. Like their brand mate, Piglets, potato puffs were extremely light and if left in the mouth long enough would slowly melt away. They were available in a variety of classic flavours including ready salted, salt and vinegar, cheese and onion, beef and also a tomato sauce flavour. What were your favourite crisps of days gone by? Are there any other lost brands that you wish were still around? Please let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed today's video, you can relive more nostalgic memories in the videos on your screen now. As always, thanks for joining me on another nostalgic journey. Your company is much appreciated.